see if I can get this right. All right. I consider myself a spirit psychologist. I'm a tarot reader. I'm a divine feminine animal Virgo. Uh, I have been researching, I have been saying, well, me and spirit call them skill points. Um, if you want to check out my channel, uh, you're entitled to do so. There's a few things there. Um, I am interested in teaching others how to read tarot, uh, as I have learned how to read myself. It's really not that hard. Um, mostly it's intuition. Now I have a particular story that I have been involved in that I have recently put to rest. You can figure it out by checking out my channel, whatever. I am, I am no newbie. This is not something I haven't, um, so those of you who are interested in learning tarot, I'm going to help you out. I would like to be paid for that, but um, you want to get what you want. Uh, let's start with a card of the day. I always pick one card of the day, and uh, we got two for. Um, Eight of Wands speaks of messaging, usually uh, text messages, um, phone calls, uh, emails, what have you, messaging. In reverse, there's a delay in a message. Okay. Um, Queen of Cups represents a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Feminine. Is that really happening to my lights? Oh, by the way, my house is haunted as shit, so uh, if you see anything uh, in the background, just uh, say something, you will see some shit. Um, anyways, Queen of Cups, Reverse, it, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it could also be a emotionally manipulative person or someone who has shut off themselves and are unintuitive. This is turning into a spirit PSA. I'm gonna start doing those too. So let's continue. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Pentacles speaks about um, poverty, either spiritual, um, emotional, sexual, what have you. In the reverse, it's recovering. You see, what you, if you haven't realized this by now, most of the reverse are the opposite of what the original card is supposed to be. So we string these two together, there's a message from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who feels out in the cold. Emperor is Aries energy. Um, usually refers to authority, uh, someone with authority or like the father of the household. It's masculine energy. Uh, I am a divine feminine. Uh, Five of Wands speaks of conflict. Reverse is um, protection from conflict or uh, conflict resolution. This is in the upright, so let's, let's continue. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but in the upright. He knows. Um, how to give his love away. Um, he's very protective of it and give away a certain amount. It's masculine energy. So what we have here is a message from an unintuitive Cancer Pisces Scorpio who feels out in the cold. Um, their leadership position is in conflict because of another Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They feel like um, they are uh, in competition with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign feminine. Um, she's a single parent. She's financially secure. 
she has the best interest of everyone in her family at heart. Uh, like the soccer mom of the tarot cards. Hmm. Message. Eight of Wands, we went over it again. Uh, uh, sometimes spirit I call double downs or uh, reiterates to me the importance of um, said card. So when I clarify card with card, that's him telling me, yeah, I told you before exactly what it is. Let's see what these clean cups. Again, I can give out lessons to people. I, I would like to get paid for it. That would be cool. But I'm just giving a general tutorial right now. Four of Wands speaks of celebration, usually around the household. Those of you who would like to know my story, I have documented it since New Year's. Four of Cups reverse. Okay. Four of Cups speaks of... Um, uh, missed opportunity. Um, in the reverse, it speaks of reflection, meditation, onset, missed opportunity. They, they're, this Cancer Price Scorpio is reflecting on their missed opportunity they had with me personally. To me. Three of Swords speaks of heartbreak. In the reverse, recovering from heartbreak. Any and all forms of heartbreak, um, even self-imposed heartbreak, continuing. Three of Pentacles speaks of community and cooperation. And the reverse says so doing stuff solo, or it could be a third party who is an earth sign. Uh, was up right and uh numerology plays a big part in it and threes are usually um cooperation just in general yeah it's cooperation up right you're i'm stupid yeah i'm retarded at shark spit sometimes so sorry Six of Wands speaks of success, failure, or self, like when you see yourself expressed. It's also adoration, um, admiration of others in the reverse, uh, failure or self admiration. Ace of Wands um, usually refers to uh, uh, the good old in out. Um, passion towards uh, such thing. It is very phallic-y. It is a, a large penis. Five is not. It really isn't that hard to, to and like spirit, some things that spirit says um, require a little bit of a uh, modern day imagining like let's say for example spirit tells you about shape-shifting reverse magicians who um want to be you okay they can turn into you like a doppelganger um what he's trying to tell you there in modern day um speech is um someone with stolen identity yeah king of wands reverse now king of wands reverse is a jealous a uh, fire sign with an ego problem. In the upright, they are um, creative, passionate, like like porn star, porn directors. Like the confidence is out of control. But this is in the reverse. Fire sign. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Which there's Aries energy right here with uh, the Emperor. So continue. Star usually refers to, um, it's Aquarian energy, it's represented as Aquarius, um, but it refers to uh, divine protection and um, sometimes being center of attention. In the reverse, it, it clarifies despair, uh, disorder, and chaos, which it was reversed. 
uh, let's see, King of Cups. And there's a divine suit here, by the way. Queen of Wands. Uh, almost the same energy as the King of Wands, but uh, more feminine. Um, in the reverse, she really is a problem. She came out upright, so thank God for that. Nine of Cups speaks of wish fulfillment, and the reverse that uh, they chose a option that uh, was not very fulfilling. So if we put this all together here, uh, there's a message incoming uh, from a financially secure feminine energy that feels that they are celebrating in their house. Um, they are upset about a missed opportunity. They feel out in the cold, heartbroken, with no community support. Um, but they do feel like a masculine. Uh, they feel successful and passionate Yet, there is combativeness from both a fire sign, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and an Aquarius, and King of Cups, which is an emotional uh, masculine, has a Queen of Cups in their, uh, Queen of Wands in their energy, and it's Wish Fulfillment. Now, is there anything else you would like to add to this spirit? King of Pentacles, Divine Suit. Uh, King of Pentacles is uh, if you're all in all, every man, uh, abundant, successful, masculine. Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Uh, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten of Cups speaks of just pure emotional happiness. That's it, that's it right there. Bam. And in a reverse, um, a disconnection or a, a disalignment of um, goals that people have. So um, Spirit now is instructing me uh, to seek happiness. Um, Spirit prioritizes certain things. Queen of Swords is very, very honest. Um, head over heart decisions. Um, and the reverse, there's no heart. That is the last thing is any kind of heart. Um, but it's in the upright, so she, um, feminine wants to be honest. Seven of cups means many options, um, even illusion magic, uh, possibly. Uh, in my own personal opinion, there was deceptive sex and moon magic. That I had to be aware of, uh, that I have recently become disillusioned with, and the reverse, there's a lack of options, and I disillusion me. So, um, continuing. Four Pentacles talks about control and holding on, uh, and um, keeping your money secure, holding the bag, baby. And the reverse, that means someone is holding on a little too tightly, and they, uh, need to let go. And the last one, strength, which is Leo energy. Um, in the upright, it um, talks about inner strength, uh, uh, courage even, and the reverse, it's weakness um, and the like. Uh, but I do not remember. So what I do usually when it comes on sideways, I just give her a little spin upright. So control with strength uh, for my happiness. Mm. Is there anything else? The Six of Cups refers to uh, reminiscing of the past, past memories, bad memories of the past. Again, don't remember. Reverse. So. Five of Cups speaks of sorrow and um, regrets. And the reverse has to do with self-confidence and uh, moving on, basically. Again, let's see. As in the reverse, so moving on. Again, there's no certain spread or... There's the Ten of Cups again. 
but this time it's in reverse. There's no certain spread or um, any spectacular way of doing things. It's there's just uh, it's intuition. Is is the bottom line? I mean, if you're intuitive and you do your research on to, if you're unsure what a card means, uh, just go onto Google and do a, a ten of cups reversed. Uh, there's a cool site called um, Biddy.com uh, that's pretty good about the keywords. And um, again, I'm still I'm not gonna act like I'm the shit, but I'm still learning myself. Uh, anything else? To wrap up this tutorial. Ace of Cups starts about an emotional, loving beginning, uh, in reverse, uh, loving thyself, and uh, this goes in reverse. I recently posted a video called "Love Thyself." Because uh, my particular situation was quite dire. Again, sorry. We already went over that. Um, if you need anything or any advice or uh, the general ideas, I'm going to start like a school for tarot reading. Because tarot has personally saved my life and taken me out of particular situations that I had no uh, excuse for being involved in. Uh, so, uh, uh, comment, question, whatever. I'm, I'm a pretty uh, nice guy to talk to. Something for the most part. Unless you piss me off. Um, Alright, you guys take care.